Hello dear students, I am Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longoval. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Meat, Poultry, Fish and Seafood Products. You know, the poultry meat is a good source of bacteria and therefore, there are various factors which can affect the quality of this poultry meat. And these aspects will be told to you in the present module by my co-author, Ms. Saeed Insha Rafiq. Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I'm Saeed Insha Rafiq from Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I'm going to talk about module 20, that is factors affecting quality of poultry meat. Of paper number eight that involves technology of meat, poultry, fish, and seafood products. In this module, we will be learning about the factors that affect the quality of poultry meat. Meat, among other foods of animal origin, make a valuable contribution to human nutrition, especially in developing countries. The necessity of securing the food supply in terms of quality and quantity for the increasing population as well as the need for animal proteins, health problems due to nutrition and consumers awareness and tendency to maintain a healthy and balanced diet have all made the poultry sector a significant industry throughout the world. As a matter of fact, the meat quality concept is used to add the overall meat characteristics including its physical, chemical, morphological, biochemical, microbial, sensory, technological, hygienic, nutritional, and culinary properties. In general, the consumers judge meat quality from its appearance, texture, juiciness, water holding capacity, firmness, tenderness, odor, and flair. Poultry contributes to improved human nutrition and food security by being a leading source of high quality protein in form of meat and eggs. Quality is defined as sum total of those characteristics that differentiate individual parameters of a product and which have significance in determine the degree of acceptability of that parameter to the user. Poultry meat quality is potentially affected by management techniques, weather and rearing conditions, genetics, transportation, and the ability of the bird to respond to the environment, and all the variables that may interact, affecting in the production cycle. Most of factors influencing poultry meat quality can be controlled during the different production stages, pre-slaughter, slaughter and meat processing. These factors include age, gender, nutrition, management, bird density, harvesting method, environmental conditions, handling, etc. However, the factors that are taken into consideration for affecting the quality of meat are rearing conditions, pre-slaughter conditions, which include bird catching, stress and fatigue, antibiotic factors 
which include fasting and stunning and lastly handling and slaughtering conditions rearing effects quality of meat the quality of poultry meat is largely determined in the way the bird was cured however there is decline in productivity when birds are exposed to unfavorable rearing conditions high temperature may lead to stress in birds thus the temperature must be kept low to remove the stress for this air flow over the birds can help to cool them in warm weather by decreasing effective temperature and increasing their resistance to thermal stress however force ventilators are used for efficient removal of latent and sensible heat generated in the form stress boilers are more susceptible to pathogen dissemination in order to avoid dissemination of disease dead birds need to be removed from the poultry house as soon as possible hence temperature ventilation rate have significant effects on quality as well as on biological efficiency five main characteristics contribute to the overall eating quality of poultry meat these are rearing conditions pre slaughtering conditions antemortem factors handling and slaughtering conditions these factors has been known to affect chemical composition properties and structure of muscle which could all contribute to the quality of meat other factors affecting the quality of meat include temperature chilling aging tenderness of meat is the sum total of the mechanical strength of skeletal muscle tissue and its weakening during post mortem aging of meat during refrigerated post mortem storage improvement in meat tenderness commonly called meat aging occurs the main factors responsible for post mortem improvement in meat tenderness is degradation of muscle proteins the quality of chicken meat and chicken meat products can be influenced by the way it is processed and the temperature used during processing the temperature at which poultry is held during chilled storage determines to large extent its shelf life pre slaughtering conditions it includes bird catching and stress and fatigue bird catching poultry meat quality is highly dependent on pre slaughter management there is evidence that catching often results in injury especially when a large number of birds are caught with maximum haste by the catching team it has been found that there occurs bruising in thighs legs and breasts of up to 25% of the harvested birds due to handling catching transportation and uploading at the processing 
plant. However, most damage in the carcass was found during catching in the breast 11%, thighs 33% and wings 38%. Certain methods of harvesting, in particular the way workers catch the fall, can affect their muscle properties, potentially leading to damaged or bruised areas. The way the producer catched or cooped the birds is also an important factor that determines meat quality. Stress and fatigue When poultry is exposed to adverse conditions before slaughter, stress and fatigue lower the quality of meat due to depletion of glycogen in the muscle. Due to low acid production, the ultimate pH of the muscle remains high causing a condition called dark cutting meat or dark firm and dry DFD meat. Thus, keeping quality of meat is reduced and it looks dark due to higher water content. Antimortem factors. The antimortem procedures take place at farm and 12 hours prior to slaughter. And it is the time of intense activity that can be extremely stressful to the bird. During this critical period, catching, transportation, unloading and hanging can reduce quality and yield if performed improperly. The reduced quality and yield is due to the fact that these operations are still largely manual and are performed outside, exposed to the weather. Birds need proper care during this particular time period. Pre-slaughter heat stress has been reported to accelerate rigor mortis development, reduce water holding ability, and increase paleness in poultry meat. Transportation stress has also been reported to reduce tenderness and increase lightness of chicken meat. If birds are provided with a 4-hour rest period between transport and slaughter, it results in reduced plasma levels of corticosterone. When birds are transported before slaughter, they had a lower incidence of carcass bruising, presumably because the level of physical activity is reduced during transportation. Fasting prior to slaughter is known to deplete glycogen stores, resulting in meat with high ultimate pitch and dark color. The effects of fasting on meat quality of poultry are particularly important because feed withdrawal periods of 8 to 12 hours before slaughtering are common and it results in improved meat quality. This practice has been shown to accelerate rigor mods and final product quality by decreasing the amount of glycogen available for energy production prior to the onset of rigor mortis. The feed withdrawal from wilders prior to slaughter significantly reduce muscle energy stores that could be used during postmortem metabolism. Standing. It's another antimortem procedure that can 
have profound effect on meat quality. The purpose of stunning is to immobilize the bird for automatic cling and to render it insensible to pain or stress. The most common stunning technique is to pass an electric current from a slime bath into the bird's head through its body and out its feet to the shackle which is crowded. The current causes generalized contractions that can obviously have a marker effect on muscle characteristics. Because of the forceful contractions it causes, electric stunning has the capability of inducing hemorrhage and broken bones if excessive current or low frequencies are used. Other factors affecting carcass damage include stunning duration. In order to reduce meat loss and alternate form of stunning, that is gas stunning has received much attention as gas stunning causes less carcass damage than electrical stunning. Birds are either exposed to the anesthetic gas carbon dioxide at levels and durations sufficient to induce or to a mixture of carbon dioxide and argon at levels and durations to deprive the bird of oxygen and asphyxiate them while they are unconscious. Because of the reduced oxygen conditions used to stun birds with gas, there is the potential to influence the development of rigor mods and the need for aging. Now moving to handling and slaughtering conditions. There are few points which should be followed before slaughtering. Birds to be slaughtered should be relaxed before slaughtering to remove stress as it will affect the different quality parameters of the carcass. Birds to be slaughtered should be disease free. Birds should be kept on first 6 to 8 hours prior to slaughter to keep gastrointestinal tract empty in order to reduce carcass contamination. Birds should not be in the vicinity of the slaughtering area. Moreover, the birds to be slaughtered should be kept away from rest of the birds. While standing birds should be unaware of the standing process. As far as slaughtering is concerned, it has a major influence on the quality of meat. While slaughtering, it is necessary that the slaughtering area should be free from contamination. There should be proper drainage facilities available for blood, water, etc. Moreover, the equipment used for slaughtering should be free from microbial load. They should be clean and sterile to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. After slaughtering, it is necessary that defeathering should be done immediately followed by evisceration as feathers and gut harbor a lot of contaminants. Then the eviscerated bird should be thoroughly washed in order to maintain the better quality of the poultry meat. Quality Maintenance After Slaughtering To maintain the quality of poultry during distribution and 
retailing phases, the temperature should be controlled as well as packaging and handling systems which minimize physical and chemical damage. For unfrozen poultry, temperature around 0 degrees Celsius extend shelf life quite markedly and for frozen poultry, temperatures of minus 18 degrees Celsius or lower are useful to maintain color and minimize freeze burn. Packaging also plays an important role for maintaining the quality of poultry. For unfrozen carcasses, controlled atmosphere packaging using gas flushing and modern laminated films can be most useful in maintaining color and freshness. Factors affecting meat quality. After slaughter, biochemical changes occur in the conversion of muscle to meat. The normal development of these biochemical changes will determine final meat quality. Rigor mortis development is crucial in the process of muscle death and is essential to proper meat quality. After death, blood no longer circulates and oxygen no longer goes to the muscles, resulting in anaerobic conditions to develop. This causes the muscle to stiffen and contract in a process known as rigor mortis. Other factors affecting quality of meat during story include aging, temperature, and chilling. In aging process, it has been found that poultry meat harvest before the development of rigor mortis was objectionably tough. Reducing the need for aging would greatly expedite boneless meat production. Rapid chilling of poultry mainly serves to reduce microbial growth but also serves to increase the firmness of the muscle and stiffness of the skeleton to facilitate automatic portioning and deboning. While temperature is considered as the most important factor influencing rigor mortis and overall meat quality. Thus, these factors must be controlled for improving the overall quality of poultry meat. The rigor mortis process develops as muscle anaerobic metabolism results in the depletion of glycogen and accumulation of lactic acid in the muscle. Lactic acid can't be removed due to the lack of blood circulation. Thus, lactic acid gets accumulated causing a decrease in sarcoplasmic pH to a point that inhibits further glycolysis and ATP production eventually ceases. While ATP production ceases, the dissociation between actin and myosin is halted and the onset of rigor mortis begins. However, glycolysis and rigor mortis occur significantly faster in poultry in comparison to that in red meat. Temperature Post-mortem carcass temperature was the most important factor influencing rigor mortis and overall meat quality. It has been reported that an increase of 10 degrees Celsius resulted in a 20-fold increase in protein 
denaturation and also elevated carcass temperatures, accelerated glycolysis and toughened breast meat, while low temperatures delayed glycolysis without toughening. In meat type chickens, rigor moths is particularly rapid in comparison to red meat species and is usually complete within two to three hours of postmortem. Boiler carcasses exposed to temperatures between 37 degree and 41 degree Celsius during processing exhibit rapid rates of glycolysis and a premature onset of rigor mortis. In addition, carcass temperature increase due to the generation of heat resulting from the conversion of glycogen to lactic acid and the hydrolysis of ATP and creatinine phosphate in muscles. Boiler carcasses are chilled to below 4 degrees Celsius within 1.5 hour of death with water immersion chilling off or 2.5 hour of death with air chilling. Rapid chilling of poultry mainly serves to reduce microbial growth but also serves to increase the firmness of the muscle and stiffness of the skeleton to facilitate automatic portioning and deboning. Aging or maturation is the procedure of storing intact carcasses or breast hulls for several hours at refrigerated temperatures before deboning to allow for the development of rigor mortis. It has been found that poultry meat harvest before the development of rigor mortis was objectionably tough. Reducing the need for aging would greatly expedite boneless meat production. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. In this module, we have learned about the various factors that affect the quality of poultry meat. These factors including rearing conditions like bird catching, transportation and antimortem conditions result in stress and fatigue of birth. Many factors such as breeds or genotypes, rearing systems, feed, age, muscle pitch, chemical composition, microstructure of muscles, postmortem aging and processing methods can influence on the overall quality of poultry meat. Most of the factors influencing poultry meat quality can be controlled during the different production stages that is pre-slaughter, slaughter and meat processing. These factors include age, gender, nutrition, management, bird density, harvesting method, environmental conditions handling etc. However, the factors that are taken into consideration for affecting the quality of meat are rearing conditions, pre-slaughtering conditions which include bird catching, stress and fatigue, antimodal factors which include fasting and stunning and lastly handling and slaughtering conditions. That's all about the factors that affect the quality of poultry meat. Thank you. Our dear students, we have discussed 
different factors which can affect the quality of poultry meat. And now you know the importance of this factor. And after that, there are different methods which are helpful to preserve the poultry meat. So these methods of preservation of poultry meat will be explained to you in the next module. Thank you.